Hi everyone, Chelsea here again to <clears throat> recap on week two with the intensive babes. Um, <clears throat> wonderful as always. I mean, I think it was great. We have a really good group of girls who are all so oh, <laughs> who are all so focused and ready um, for growth, even if they've been with us for. Um, multiple seasons that are actually what I really like that I've heard from some of the girls who have been with us for multiple seasons is that they've gone back and they've reviewed their videos from the previous shows or previous rehearsals that we've had in the old seasons and they're now finding ways to grow even more this season you know some of them realize that they were just kind of going through multiple seasons letting the natural growth happen but not really reviewing and dissecting things as much and that, so for season 10, we've been told by a few girls that, you know, this is the season they want to see even more growth and they want to set new goals and new intentions. And I think that's so wonderful because within their program, they're really taking it upon themselves to do even more. Um, some of them are working out even more to like build that muscle and, and it's a beautiful thing. So I really love that. Yay. About from those girls. Um, normally, so week two, normally we do most of our heels training on week three. And Danny and I kind of reviewed things and we were like, you know what, we feel like we're not getting everything that we want to get out there when it comes to heels training by doing it just on one day. So we actually started um, just focusing on like walks, which are so important. And um, that was really great. And the girls felt that helped a lot. The girls, especially the ones who had been with us for a little bit, really felt like starting on week two helped them so much. And um, there are some girls in our program that have never ever done heels before because that's not a requirement to be in our program. We're a commercial dance training company, so some girls have a lot of experience in hip hop or mainly in jazz funk or all these different styles and some have zero experience in heels. So uh, we create the training to give everybody a good solid review uh, if they do have experience in heels, a really, really, really solid review on the basics and fundamentals. And if they don't have any experience, I make sure that I take the responsibility to really break down everything that they, all the tools that they need so that when they do go to drop-in classes or they come to our drop-in classes, whatever it is, they can use those tools and they can practice, practice, practice. So um, it was really great. Their walks were really wonderful. And not that I'm surprised, but a lot of times for girls that have never done heels before, I really didn't have to correct too much. So that was like a gift for me. And I was like, wow, ladies, um, it was a lot of fun but anyways we moved right into a heels combo and I actually really 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 loved this heels combo I created it um, how I do my co my choreography for the first three weeks is actually I create combos based off what I feel the girls need that is very important so I don't just choose a fun song and kind of just go for it and create whatever I want I think okay what are my intentions so for this heels routine I wanted something that had a lot of resistance that had offered them that had a lot of resistance. Um, they had to work on their lines. They have to work on their technique. Um, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. They had to work on their, I wanted their technique to come into play, pointed toes, a little bit of floor work, um, performance, uh, slow walks. You know, I had these intentions in my mind, so I created this piece based off those things. And this piece offered all of those. It was a struggle. There was some moves in there that some girls have never done before, especially in heels. And, um, but that was great. I saw everybody, every single girl in our, in our group, in, um, no matter what level they're at or the, what their experience is, I saw them all uh, struggle in some areas, which is good, because that means there's growth ready to happen. And then I, saw, and then I, I equally saw everybody um, with wonderful, wonderful moments, strong moments, even the girls that have never danced in heels. I saw some beautiful lines come out of them and, and I, I saw growth even in just that little 45 minutes that we had. So that was absolutely wonderful. I'm actually gonna be teaching that combo on Tuesday because I really wanna highlight it more and put more into that combo. Um, and then we moved on to the, the hip hop one and it's always so hype. It was a hard one. It was a really, really tough one for the girls. I took the class uh, on Saturday so I could learn the combo. I try and do that whenever I can. And um, uh, it was tough, it was tough. And, uh, but it was wonderful, obviously. You hear me say wonderful all the time. Um, but they struggled, but you know what? There were more girls that felt good to do a small group in hip hop than I had in heels. And I, I for sure thought that the hip hop one was way more difficult than the heels, but proof is in the pudding, right? That's how people felt. They felt a lot more confident with hip hop. So that was all A-OK. -okay. Um, and all in all, yeah, we had a good day. 
we had a really good day. We had our OG meeting afterwards, and if, for anybody that doesn't know who our OGs are, any girl that has been with us for more than one season gets automatically put into an OG group. So um, we have a meeting with them every single season, and we say, you know, now you've experienced at least one of our pro, at least one session of, with us. Um, what are the things that you really liked that we did? Even the girls, especially who have been with us for multiple seasons, right? Because we always want to make sure we're staying fresh and staying on top of whatever training they feel like they really need. So we figure out what are some things that you really enjoyed, some training techniques. Um, are there training techniques or are there just things that you want us to highlight more, that you want to work on more? Um, choreography, music, like just vibe. Were there any issues? Were there were there great things that maybe Danny and I didn't even know about that were happening? Or, or just, so we really just have a whole breakdown meeting where we're like, it's kind of like we call our family time. Cause I'm like, this is honesty hour, you know? Our feelings won't be hurt. Obviously let's speak respectfully to each other, but it's time to just really let us know. And if you have questions of why we do something and you don't understand it, allow us this time to explain that to someone because sometimes there's things in companies that you might not agree with or you don't understand. And um, not a lot of directors open up the floor to be like, it's okay if you aren't sure why we do something or maybe you disagree with something, but come talk to us and at least give us the opportunity to either say, maybe we should change it or B, this is why we do it and help that person understand and be a lot happier and a lot more comfortable with it. Um, so yeah, that's how we kind of keep a good vibe sewn throughout our companies. We just make sure that we always have this open door policy for girls to come and talk to us and allow us to communicate uh, with one another. So we had a really good OG, OG meeting and um, some really good input, things they really liked, which again, sometimes Danny and I are like, we do things because we really believe they help the girls, but. We don't know, like, do they like them? Are they finding them useful? Are they finding them useless? But we had a lot of good feedback. So we're really excited to continue on. And that was about it. At the end of rehearsal, uh, there was probably like an, there was like an impromptu dinner that we kind of did. Like there was probably like 10 of, 10 of us, I think, that just casually managed to just stay around each other and we went and had a bite to eat. And it's always great. I mean, we always open the floor to like anybody that wants to come with us, but it was kind of really, it was just really cool. We got to sit and, and chat with some of the girls and we all just talk about whatever, life or dance or music or, and I always, I learn things about girls. Like some of these girls I've known for up to a year or more, and I still learn things about them that I had no idea. And so I really love those casual encounters. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was gonna keep this one nice and short, but here we are almost 10 minutes later. <laughs> Anywho, I will wrap this up with a little bow and just say week two is a success. We're ready for week three. Things are gonna start to get so much more intense and we're ready for it. Bring it on, bring it on. Um, thank you again for listening to my video and I will be back next week after week three. Bye guys.